So let me get my phone going so I can see everybody's comments as you're coming in. And they're welcome on TikTok. Thank you guys for being here. I hope everybody can see okay and hear all right. But let me get everybody up and going here. I wish everything was as easy as TikTok, just to hit the button and go, right? <laughs> so how is everybody today? I was just looking outside. I went, um, I'd been working down here this morning. I just went up set stairs to get a bite and to let the dog out. And I'm thinking I need a different weather app. <laughs> I tell you, I looked out outside, it's thundered all morning, it seems like. And um, I remember looking at the weather channel or that the weather app and it said just 20% chance of rain later today. But I tell you what, it looks like we're getting ready to get hammered right now and um, it still says 20 percent i'm like you guys come on <laughs> so if you have a good weather app that you guys use let me know oh thank you guys for being here thank you so much and if you're a first time viewer be sure to let me know where you're from and if you're on TikTok, let me know what your real name is so i can get to learn everybody so, hey, Nancy, how are you? Have you left for your trip yet? Is that this weekend or is that next weekend? Let me know. Still hot there on Texas and you guys need rain. I tell you, we've had rain every day forever. And, and they, they're talking about it even being again till the weekend, but I don't even know. I know down in my hometown, I went to, um, my mother's house last night and she's got a, a heavily graveled driveway and there was parts of it it was washed out i had to go up really slowly and um she lives on sand and sand you know it's like living on a beach so it doesn't hold water but the, um, i had to go down that driveway pretty slow so good morning how are you okay so let's go ahead and get started yeah it's still hot and <laughs> Yes, I know a bunch of people are hot. Hey, Derek and Wendy. Oh, Derek and Mindy. Sorry about that. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You made my day. And uh, there's Dorothy. Hello again. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, I thought we'd do something different. And I know last time I did this, we had a lot of questions uh, because um, people are, I, I think, intimidated on how to ship bows. And it's really very simple. And um, I've got this bow, we made it either last week or the week before, we made this and I'm gonna be shipping that out today, it's gorgeous. And um, I'm, I'm really on the Halloween mood right now, you guys. And it seems like a lot of people are skipping, like, like a lot of buyers on Etsy are skipping over fall this year and, and more interested in Halloween. So. I don't know if it's because we did, were locked down last year and couldn't trick or treat or what, but um, but anyway, so this is going to be shipped out today, and um, there's a couple of ways you can do this. Now, you know, shipping, there's a fine line where you can go, um, you know, just an inch more and you're going to go into a higher uh, shipping rate, like a much higher shipping rate, and, um, you know, especially now Essie's pushing free shipping, you got to really watch your P's and Q's when you're shipping. And um, I do offer free shipping on my bows. Uh, it's a little bit simpler to me to manage that than on um, my bigger items. I don't offer sh free shipping because, um, you know, there, you know, it seems like that you, you add the, the shipping in and then it ship that adds the wreath into a higher um, cost class and the wreath doesn't seem like it suits. And people, a lot of people, a lot of buyers don't understand free shipping. I mean, it's not really ever free shipping, right? Um, but, um, but anyway, so I do offer free shipping on my bows. And um, I typically, when I'm shipping a bow, if I'm just shipping a single ordinary wreath bow, I, um, I typically I'll use a 10 by 10 by six or a 12 by 12 by six. Today we're gonna to be using a 12 by 12 by six bo um, box. Um, now, when I get into Christmas and the bigger bows, then I might use a longer box, but, um, and of course that's gonna cost a lot more to ship. But, um, 
this one we're like I said we're going to be using a 12 by 12 by 6 box and I get my boxes off of Uline you can also get them at um, you know on Amazon uh, sometimes if I'm in a pinch I might buy it at Staples um, no offense Walmart but I did try your boxes once and I won't buy those again they were pretty bad but um, they were cheap but they but you get what you pay for I guess but but anyway I've gone ahead I've taped this up and I usually you know they always recommend you know any shipping place will recommend that you ship your um, tape in an H fashion and I've got a couple of box or a couple of tapes going this way and I've got a couple of things of tape going this way and then we'll put some more on here in a second and um, first thing I usually do I go now, since this bow has tails you know a lot of my bows I ship I don't have tails on them per se this one has tails so I'm gonna try to put my um, my holes up at the, the topper part of the box here uh, whereas if I didn't have tails I go right smack dab in the middle so I'll go just a little bit up of, of midline I'm gonna take this all and it just is looks like an ice pick Oh, thank you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to put poke two holes in the bottom of this box. I don't know if you can see those or not, but it's, you can see it's a little bit up past midline. The holes are right here. Okay, I don't know if there's a good way to show you that. But um, now next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take two pipe cleaners. You could also use um, floral wire. You could use zip ties if you wanted to. I'm just gonna take two pipe cleaners. They're less expensive. And I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna twist them together. And I don't just twist them in a row like this because you can, this, can, this can actually come apart. Um, it's a little bit harder there, but I've had people tell me that their pipe cleaners came apart, but it won't if you do it this way. And I typically will take it and I twist it once, then I bring it back, I twist that one back behind there, I twist it again, and then I take it the opposite direction. And this has never come undone for me. And I mean, you could pull on it all your might and it's not gonna come undone. So then I've got this knot here. So I could, used to, I, I would take the pipe cleaner from the back and um, run it through here this way. But over the years, I've learned it's easier if I start from the inside of the box. And I'm just going to take one pipe cleaner, stick it in, and then I'm going to take it and run it through the other one on the bottom side of the box. And what that does doing it that way, it makes this flat. Whereas before, I always had this big knot here, but this leaves it flat. And uh, so then once I get to that point, I make sure it's tight. Let me look. I make sure it's tight and then I'm going to take another piece of tape close your ears if this bothers you I'm going to take another piece of tape and I'm going to run it over the top of that pipe cleaner so now you can see I've got a flat bottom and I've got a lot of tape on the bottom too okay it just helps makes it makes me feel better I don't know it seems like it should make it a little bit more stir you know stable all right, so now I'm ready to put my bow in. And as I said, I put this these pipe cleaners up a little bit um, over midline, and that's where my bows, the actual body of the bow is going to set. The tails will come down here. So I'm just going to take it, and remember when we're making the bows, we got this center place here where the zip tie is right there that's where the pipe cleaner is going to come and I'm going to make sure that my tails are all on the same you know on the right side I want that pipe cleaner to come right down the middle of the bow and come in between those tails okay now I'm going to so sit it down here and I'll show you how I get it fastened in here once I get it and I'm just going to take it and I'm going to twist it a few times there's what it looks like right now. I just got the pipe cleaners. I'm twisting them around. And I'm gonna twist it a couple of inches here. 
and make sure that it's, the, I want the bow to be sure to be down snug against the bottom of the box. So let's, now I'm gonna position the top part of the bow. And then I'm gonna take my, so I've got this, you know, this is plenty of room. This is a 12 by 12 by six box. There's plenty of room on both sides. I do not wanna squash my, my bow loops. And I'm gonna keep on fluffing them before I, you know, as I even send it out the door. But, um, but anyway, so now what, next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take these tails. Let me see if I can get this where you can see. I wanna take these tails and I'm just gonna line them up the way they go and I'm gonna curl them underneath so that then they're nice and tidy whenever the customer gets the bow. Sometimes that, you know, the shorter ones are these inner ones and sometimes if I've got room, I'll leave those out and give them a little twist like that. But I'll show it to you after I get it all ready here. So we're just gonna roll that right on top very neatly. Um, now on my bigger bows that I have big tails on them, big long tails like around Christmas time, um, for those, I'll usually run a pipe cleaner and I'll secure those tails a little bit more sturdy. But this is very, very um, sturdy ribbon and it's, these are not gonna go anywhere, these bow tails. So that's in there pretty securely. I'm, again, I've got this shorter tail. I'm just gonna let it drape there at the front. You know, like I like to make it kind of perky. So that's what it looks like in the box. And you can see, I mean, I'm shaking that everywhere here and it's not going anywhere. Okay. Now, one other thing that I did learn though, I had a customer, I don't know, she was down in Texas and, and she and I, we went back and forth two or three times. The post office could not find her house. And uh, so I kept on getting her bows back and they were a little bit wrinkly. And I didn't understand that because it was still pretty secured to the box at bottom. But I used to leave these pipe cleaners up like this. And I think what was happening, these pipe cleaners were beating up the, the ribbon. So now what I do, I go ahead and I clip that. After I've got it, you know, I've got it twisted a couple of inches there. So now there's not anything, you know, flight floating around in the box. So, so that's how it is secured in there. That's what the bottom looks like. And again, I've turned this upside down. You see me shake it and everything else. It's not going anywhere. So now the next thing I do, oh, I forgot one thing. Let me grab something real quick. All right. Next thing I do, I've got these sleeves and I just got these off of Amazon. And you guys, if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments. I'm gonna, after I get everything done, I'll go back and I'll look and see if anybody has questions. Cause I know, like I said, last time I did this, we have a lot of questions. So, but anyway, so I've got these plastic sleeves and um, I just got a bunch of these off of Amazon. They're not very expensive. Um, and it holds all my packaging information. And I usually, will, what I'll do, I'll um, print off the, pack, the order sheet. I always write a little hand, handwritten note, thank you. And then I put a business card up here. And then this is just some uh, QRX codes that I've got with all my different like tutorials and how to take care of a wreath. Um, and our various groups and such. And then I also, I've always been told to put another shipping label in there too. I don't wanna to get too close so you can see things, but, uh, but anyway, I've got a shipping label in there too. And I was told that that way, if the, for some reason the shipping label gets torn off or whatever, they've still got some way to identify where the box is supposed to go. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what I was told. <laughs> so, so anyway, so I take that and I fold it up. Just like this. And then I just stick this in this little plastic sleeve here. 
and then I tape it to the inside of the box. And this, this just tears off the back like this. Put that right there on one of the, one of the empty places on the box. Okay, so then it just stays there. So they see that whenever they open it. Also, on that, that um, label, it tells how to get the bow out of the box. I recommend that they turn it over and they clip this rather than try to wrestle with the bow. So, all right, so then we just fold it up. And again, I'm gonna put a lot of tape. I've got my shipping label here. And again, cover your ears if this bothers you. Some people it does, some people it doesn't. My dog, she, he usually runs for the other room when I do this. And I completely cover the shipping label with tape. And that way it's not gonna get wet and soggy, fall off, that kind of thing. So once I get the shipping label completely covered, then I go the other way. And I just, I usually just put two rows on this, you know, going this way. Okay. So I've got tape going, you know, it's pretty much covering the entire top of the box, but I've got tape going this way, I've got tape going this way. And then the very last thing I do, I got these little thank yous that I just made myself. I just put a little label on here. I'll cover my hand. And that's a that's what it looks like. So, okay. All right, let me I'm gonna go now through all the comments and see if I have any questions. Hello from California, Carmen. Thank you for being here. Thank you guys for following. Thank you so much. All right, let me see here. Hi, Evelyn. From Southern Illinois, Mindy, where are you from in Southern Illinois? We, we must be neighbors. <laughs> um, you can order, um, oh, what do I get from there? I get some things from there, some shipping envelopes, but I don't, I don't know what you're talking, anything that I used. I'd like to know if you have some a hint though. All right, let me see if I have any of the other any other questions. Hey Valerie. Oh, you're still recovering from the wedding, Nancy. <laughs> they can get, get kind of rough. Especially the older we get, right? Hey Sharon. Are you enjoying all this wet this wet weather? Hey Jean. Yeah, just make sure you don't cover the barcodes with your stickers. That's exactly right, Nancy. That's exactly right. Hey, Vince, how are you? Trying to see what Dorothy says you can get from free. Is anybody on TikTok, anybody have a question? There's another Riverside, California. Welcome. Gosh, it's probably still morning there. It's... um. I don't even know what time it is. Let me see. It's about 1.30 in the afternoon here in Indiana. Are you still there, Dorothy? Oh, thank you guys. Thank you so much. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Dorothy. Everybody's waiting on pins and needles for, it, for Dorothy to tell us what's for free. <laughs> oh, the plastic sleeves. I did not know that. I guess I ordered everything else that, that I got for free from the uh, post office from the website. So I guess I'll have to get on there and ship or look for that because um, they're not very expensive, but they, I mean, every little bit counts. So thank you for letting us know that. Dorothy says that you can get the... Um, plastic sleeves. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let's 
She says you can get these plastic sleeves. I get mine from Amazon, but she says you can get these for free at the post office. I did not know that. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Does anybody else have any questions? Oh, thank you, Lorraine. Thank you so much. Yeah, I think that ribbon, I, well, actually, there was two really, really nice ribbons I used in that. It was that purple um, double-sided? Well, no, that one wasn't double-sided. I've got one that's double-sided, but that wasn't it. But um, the purple ribbon is really, really nice. And that, um, the one with the tinsel, I love it. <laughs> in fact, I'm making a couple, a, a double door set of Reese right now um, with that, that very ribbon because I like it so much. Thank you. Oh, and in India, and you're born in Evansville. That used to be my stomping ground. Um, <clears throat> I'm in Terre Haute, and actually I, I was um, raised in Vincennes. And um, we always, you know, Vincennes is right in between Terre Haute and Evansville, and I usually preferred Evansville because I could leave home, like during the time change, um, at certain times of the year, it's always in the winter, um, you could leave home in Vincennes and get down to Evansville the very same time. So you always got an extra hour of shopping. <laughs> but I, I like that. And actually, I worked at um, St. Mary's Hospital for a long time down there. That was a, a, I love Evansville. But then I met my husband, and he's in Terre Haute, so now I'm up here. But I still love Evansville. So... Oh, thank you. Loves dogs. I do too. And teddy bears. <laughs> I love dogs. Thank you guys so much for being here. How in the world do you get from California from Evansville, Indiana? <laughs> okay, let me see if I have any other questions. Thank you for sharing. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Okay, Dor Dor Dora has a question. If somebody buys a wreath and a separate bow in one order, do you ship both together or ship a bow and a wreath separate? It depends. Um, like, for example, the other day <clears throat> I had one that was a, um, it was a crescent grapevine and she wanted a matching bow. So I just took on the empty side of the grapevine, I just attached her extra bow over there and it shaved her a lot on shipping. Um, if there's room, I will, but, um, you know, I don't want to compromise either the wreath or the bow. So it just, it's an individual, um, you know, case to case, um, judgment call, whether I do or not. Um, some, you know, and sometimes even if you ship in separate boxes, if you tape them together, like if they're the same size, like this, like if I have somebody orders two of these bows, I always ship it in separate boxes and then I just tape the boxes together and it saves a lot of money on shipping. And another thing too, <clears throat> you know, if you're an Etsy seller or, <clears throat> well, regardless, even if you're not on Etsy, I do not ever purchase my shipping labels at the post office. Yeah, I can always get a better rate online. I either I either ship it through Etsy. If I'm using the post office, I ship it through Etsy. Um, or if I, for example, I just I've got another order that I didn't put through Etsy. It was a, a you know it's, it's not an order as a gift. Um, <clears throat> if I order or if I ship through Pirate Ship, a lot of times their shipping rates are very comparable to Etsy. So, uh, but if you go to the into the post office and have them um, quote you a price, it's going to be higher. So, oh, Sonia's from Indiana, also, but now live in Phoenix. You guys have all gone to better weather. <laughs> you got transferred out there, yeah. Well, good deal. That's a good place to get transferred, I guess. All right, does anybody else have any questions? No questions? Final call, any questions on how to ship a bow or any shipping kind of related?
Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the hearts, you guys. Thank you so much. Okay. And um, if you're on TikTok, I will try to uh, repost a live. Um, I don't know. I'll have to probably speed it up a little bit, but, you know, there's only so much time that we can do it on TikTok. But, um, of course, it'll be on YouTube and Facebook forever. So, all right. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for being here. I really, truly appreciate it. And um, if you're in my group, remember we've got wreath critiques at three o'clock this afternoon. I don't, I'll have to look and see how many wreaths we got posted, but I know we have at least a few and another question that I wanted to cover as well. So thank you so much. Have a great weekend or great rest of your week. I will be live again, at least by Friday. And that's going to be at 10 a.m. And um, I don't know, who knows, I might go live before then too. So thank you so much. Bye-bye.